hey, I'm on a Fox Box job. It just got concrete placed in. I want to show you a few things with the Fox Buck that's going to help you on your job. If you see on this side of the window, there's a tie right close to the buck. If it's within four inches of the buck, you don't have anything to worry about. You put the fiberglass reinforced tape on and internal bracing just like we teach, you won't have any problem. You can vibrate all you want, it'll pull just fine. If you look on this side of the wall though, they had seven inches to the tie. Because they had so much to the tie, when they put the vibrator down to get that concrete, to get into these vent holes to get the concrete out, that's anchored really good. It worked really well, but they also folded out the block a little bit. So now we've got to do some trimming here to fix that. You could have prevented this if you would just put a piece of plywood up against here and screw right into the buck and into the first tie. That would keep it from folding out. You wouldn't have any problem. And I'll show you a few ways to do it right up there. Now, to get rid of this, all you have to do is shave it off. Concrete's already hard in the wall. There's different ways you can do that. You can buy one of those really nice $50 or $60 rasps that they use for eaves. And that works really well. And you should really buy one because Every man needs his tools for the big garage sale when he dies, right? But I went looking for one, I couldn't find one, so I got myself a grater. Just one of these things that you grate cheese or vegetables with. Now, you could use your wife's. She's not gonna like that too much. So you could just go to the store and pay a dollar and a half, or just go to your neighbor and borrow it. It works. But watch this. I use this uh, really sharp edge, and I can just Sand it right down. It works really well. If I use the uh, lighter part of it, I can really be aggressive with it. And it's not fast, but it does a really nice job. And then I can smooth it out with this. Now I'll keep going and I'll get this down. I've got I'm more than halfway already. But another thing this works good for, here we use some orange spray foam. We just filled in some little gaps that happened because the block had been mishandled. And I can just go over that now and I can smooth it out. I can make a really nice job of it. Nice smooth wall, cleans everything up really well. And you know what? This will actually works on concrete too. It'll clean the concrete off really nice. You bring it back to your neighbor after you put it through the dishwasher, they'll never know. So that's how I do these type of jobs. <clears throat> hey, check this window out. Six foot wide, five foot high. You can see butt joints with our block. They're just using up scraps to do this whole buck. And we don't care about that because we got these grooves built right into our Fox buck so that concrete will fill that in, seal things up really nice. Our buck's only four foot long too. So when you put it up, you just put butt joints all the way around. Everything is cool. Now you look on this job, on this side here, they actually had five and three quarter inch. So they took their pen, made a mark. Later on, the guy comes back with a piece of plywood, puts it on there, puts some screws onto the buck and onto the first tie, plays concrete, it, everything's cool. Over here, inch and a half, no problem. Put fiberglass reinforced tape on, place concrete. You're gonna have your internal bracing in, just like we teach, but that will hold, and it'll hold really well. That's what happened on this job. Look how nice that looks. Very clean, all insulated ready to accept the window, spray foam that window into place. That thing is sealed, not using any wood, not using any fiberglass.